I'm about to be 21 soon, which means I'm now reaching the age where I eventually stop keeping track of how old I am and the years start flashing by quicker than Kanye sponsor after seeing his tweets. I see, I, I see good things about Hitler also. So now my life feels like a speed run against other people my age because I don't want to get left behind while Becky and Derek settle down and get jobs sitting in an office and writing articles about 10 ways to live a happier life. Man, I'm out here still trying to process 2020 and you're really telling me we went from a pandemic to almost World War 3? Come on bro, can we relax for like 3 seconds? At least let Frank Ocean drop an album first before you decide to even though I'm supposed to be an adult, I still feel like an angsty 14 year old every time I wake up and realize I actually have to clean my own room. I'm not a kid anymore mom, I don't have to clean my room. Because now, I really don't have an excuse. Everything I do from this point on is all me. From what I decide to wear, to the career I'll be doing for the next 10 years, it's all on me. Besides the obvious limitations of living, as an adult, you have the freedom to do whatever you want. But funny enough, especially because you're an adult, you still have some sort of standard to live up to, and how you're supposed to be. It's like that criteria sheet from school simply transitioned from school to your adult life. Except now, the requirements have slightly changed. Instead of having deadlines for assignments, you now have deadlines for work. Instead of meeting a certain GPA, it's now about how much your yearly income is. You gotta meet society's standards of being an upright citizen, and your workplace's company policy, and to talk it off, you still have to maintain this image of being a well-off, normal individual to your social circle. There's still this cookie cutter mold that you have to fit into. Now more than ever, people are feeling like they need to be a certain way in order to appear like they have their life together. Cause you don't want to disappoint your friends and family, you know, you want to fit in. You want Becky and Derek to invite you to their housewarming party. You need that validation that you're a normal, sane person worthy of love. And so what do you do to get that? You drive yourself into debt for that new car to show everyone that you're not broke. You change your personality based on which friend group you're with so that you're like. You do things you don't actually want to do, but only because everyone else is doing it and you think you need to too. You think you need to be a certain type of way in order to live a happy life, and so you change yourself accordingly. And I don't blame you, because it's in our nature to look for that acceptance. You don't want to get kicked out of the tribe, but what are you actually sacrificing to fit in? With so many labels being thrown around, you feel like you have to fall under some category. And because so many of us lack an understanding of ourselves by the time we're out of school, we let the world put labels on us and we just accept it. Your parents told you that one time that you're not good enough to pursue a career in music because no one else in your family is, so you quit. And now you're an accountant like your mom wanted. Your friends told you that one time that your dancing is weird and you should save yourself embarrassment, so you stop, even though you enjoy it. And now you drink kombucha and do yoga every Saturday with Sarah. And this doesn't just apply to any artistic things that you were interested in. It could be anything. That bully called you a nerd because you like tech. Your dad who's a doctor told you to stop pursuing finance. Or that ninth grade English teacher that told you your writing sucks. We reject ourselves and the things we actually want because what we want more is to appeal to our family and friends. We're so desperate to be accepted that we neglect ourselves, our true selves. The older I get, the more I realize it's the world trying to beat you into shape, into the type of person you're supposed to be. If you hadn't noticed, I'm an Asian male in his 20s, and it feels like in today's age, I have to fit into one of two categories. I'm either this fuckboy, boba drinking, cashy listening, essentials wearing, TikToker Asian boy, maybe I major in business, or I'm either this soft spoken nerdy ching chong who plays Valorant in League of Legends, and maybe I major in engineering or medicine. To be fair, I kinda fit into some of these categories, but the point is that these random traits don't define me, because I am so much more, and so are you. As we get older, it seems like there's always an expectation with every milestone we hit, and we feel more and more pressure to conform to these standards, and in the process, we lose a sense of ourselves. But do you really have to fit in? Everyone is so obsessed with trying to look perfect, but fail to realize that none of us are. We do things for external validation because we worry about how others view us, but we forget about the most important opinion of all our own opinion, and how we view ourselves. So even though you might think at the age you're at right now, you need to act a certain way or have your life in order, take it easy on yourself. You're not the main character of Earth. You don't actually need to meet some sort of expectation. Instead, just stay true to yourself and ignore everybody else because their opinions matter as much as signing online petitions. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go do some crack because I'm not gonna listen to the haters who say it's bad. That was a joke, okay? Just a joke. Don't do drugs, obviously. But uh, that's it.